Blessed be the Lord, who daily bears us up. God is our salvation. My servant shall prosper. He shall be exalted and lifted up and shall be very high. Just as there were many who were astonished at him, so marred was his appearance beyond human semblance and his form beyond that of mortals. So he shall startle many nations. Kings shall shut their mouths because of him. For what that which had not been told them, they shall see. And that which they had not heard, they shall contemplate. Who has believed what we have heard? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? For he grew up before him like a young plant and like a root out of dry ground. He had no form or majesty that we should look at him nothing in his appearance that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by others, a man of suffering and acquainted with infirmity, and as one from whom others hide their faces. He was despised, and we held him of no account. Bye. 
When visiting Jerusalem, you can stand on a high hill, look across a valley, and view the old city on another hill. It's quite a sight. And one assumes that Jesus was standing there, preparing to go down into the valley and then back up into the walled city of Jerusalem to meet his destiny. When he spoke, the words of this evening's scripture. Close your eyes for a moment and imagine him there and hear the disappointment in his voice. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the city that kills the prophets and stones those who are sent to it. How often have I desired to gather your children together as a hen gathers her brood under her wings, and you were not willing. See, your house is left to you, desolate, for I tell you, 
you will not see me again until you say, blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Now think of a time when you had a great disappointment. How did you feel? How did you overcome your disappointment? What emotions might Jesus have been feeling at that moment? What were his hopes? What hope does he leave us with in this passage? Show us your mercy. As servants of the suffering servant, let us pray. O oh Christ, your life was not spectacular. You carried a cross. Help us along your road. Show us your mercy. O Christ, you learned faithfulness by suffering. You have become a source of eternal salvation. Show us your mercy. O Christ, when wounded, you did not make threats. Show us how to forgive to the very end. Show us your mercy. O Christ, when forced to suffer, you did not rebel. Transfigure our refusals. Show us your mercy. O oh Christ, you see our sufferings and failures. Help us walk along your road. Show us your mercy, risen Lord. Show us the kindness of your love. O oh 
Christ, you see the pain of the exiled and the abandoned. Take their suffering up on yourself. Show us your mercy. O Christ, when our hearts become heavy, make them transparent like a springtime in flower. Show us your mercy, risen Lord. Show us the kindness of your O Christ, you bring happiness to your servants. Enable us to live lives rooted in your trust. Remember, you are the salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. You are a disciple who bears the joy and the heartaches of following Jesus. When the journey gets too hard, when we feel depleted, when our passion turns to complaining, when our efforts toward justice and mercy seem to get us nowhere. It's time to remember the humility part, that it is God who has made us and not we ourselves, that the saving of the world or even one part of it is not on our shoulders. It is then we can come unto him and he will give us rest. With rest, we will remember what it is we are about. Wait for the Lord whose day is near. Wait for the Lord, be strong, take heart. As we stand on the cusp of Holy Week, Christ stands before you and peace is in his mind. May the peace of Christ be with you. Amen.